Hi, this is Raymond Rose. Thanks for joining me today. I do know that your time is valuable and I do appreciate your support. Hey, I can't help but see when I'm at the local restaurant or maybe I'm at a civic event and there's a, there's a potluck dinner or maybe I'm at a friend's home or wherever, it's amazing to me how much food waste there is. And when you think about where people more than ever seem to be taking it for granted that there's always gonna be scraps that are just literally thrown away, it really gets to be very bothersome to somebody like me, especially because of the fact that I was in the food business for many, many years, and I saw how there was so much waste going in the door and coming out of the door. So my goal today is just to take a few minutes, get you thinking about what you personally need to do to help the environment and help reduce the amount of waste that's going on in the marketplace. So here's five quick things that we're gonna talk about. Number one is meal planning. I'm not sure if you're the one that does the grocery shopping or you're the one that does the cooking or where you fit into the big picture, but it's really important to plan meals ahead of time and making sure that you're creating a, a, a shopping list and sticking to the shopping list. One of my podcasts a couple of days ago was all about impulse buying and how people are buying not just physical goods for their house or their yard or wherever, but how much uh, impulse buying there is in food and then preparing food that really nobody wanted and then it gets thrown away or, or what have you. You just need to be very focused on planning your meals, what you're buying, and then number two is gonna be portion control. Making sure that you ask the people that you might be cooking for or feeding how hungry they are or what exactly are they looking to consume that particular, that particular meal. I know it's very challenging to try to figure out how much food somebody's going to eat, I look at the different places that serve food, the hotels, the schools, the different restaurants, mom and dad at home. I mean, think of all the different places that are involved in preparing food, even the supermarkets now that have all their foods to go areas. It's very, very challenging, but we all have to do a better job of just staying more focused on portion control because we all want to reduce the amount of excess food that's just being thrown away. And, and also, being mindful about leftovers. I, I, you know, I, I personally don't understand it. I know that there's a lot of people say that they don't even want to eat leftovers. I know there's other people that say leftovers are, leftovers are even better the second time around than they are the first time. So more than ever, if you're ordering out or if you're eating at home, please be, you know, think about how much food you're buying and what you're going to do with the leftovers in order what you need to do to reduce the waste. Number three, if you do have leftovers, and hopefully you are saving them, that your number three is storing the leftovers properly, making sure they're in airtight containers or, or some type of Ziploc bags, if you will, to make sure that anything that you're storing inside of your refrigerator or even dry goods that might be in your pantry are being stored properly so that you're doing your very best to minimize the amount of waste that might occur. Number four, and again, I was in the supermarket industry for 15 years. We had something that was called FIFO, F-I-F-O, which meant first in and first out. And that's all about making sure that you rotated your goods. No different if you're going in the produce stand. You see it in the local supermarket where they're putting the new oranges behind the old oranges or the, or the new apples, you know, in the, in the, in the back section, in, the, new, in the, the older apples out front, because you're always trying to rotate the product. It's the same thing inside your home. You need to organize your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezer, you know, fresh items go in the back, make sure the older items are used first so that you're not wasting any food. And that way you're more likely to use things before they expire. And then lastly, I'm, I'm thinking of my cousin, Joe, he, he composts, you know, instead of just throwing away food scraps, consider composting them because when you compost, it turns organic waste into nutrient rich soil that can be used in things like gardens or, or potted plants and, and more. And research shows that composting methods suitable for your living situation, uh, such as outdoor composting or indoor worm composting, is really, really beneficial. And again, it, it's, saving, uh, it's, it's saving food. You're reducing the amount of waste in food. So if you can adapt some of these principles, hopefully I gave you a couple of ideas here, you can make a contribution to reducing food waste and its environmental impact. And again, you know, I, I, you know, I, I guess I'm going to sound like my mom and dad when they were like, listen, don't waste food. Don't put more on your plate than you can eat. And don't take away food from other people that might be needing it more than you. So those are my thoughts for today. I'm hoping you got a little bit out of this. Again, let's all focus on doing our best to reduce food waste. 
And, uh, and, and I'm hoping you got, that you got some good information from here. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button, the like button, and consider sharing this with any family and friends. And if you enjoyed this podcast, uh, please consider subscribing to my future podcast. Every day I make a podcast based on four things, uh, focusing on health, focusing on money, focusing on time, and fo focusing on habits. I'm hoping you got some fun information today and that, that uh, I'm hoping that you'll join me again tomorrow. This is Raymond Rose. Thanks for listening.